I'm so confused. And the reason why I am so confused is because, well, I don't know if it's time to crumble or if it's zero time. Because you see it today on the Fast Foodies YouTube channel, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new never before scene crumble cereal you are not dreaming this is real this is a brand new cereal from kellogg's i guess crumble cookies and kellogg's decided to partner together and uh drop this new cereal but since it is a saturday i guess i guess this is a cereal time review but if you were hoping for a crumble review then don't worry, I'll make sure to play a crumble review right after this one and to make sure you don't miss out on more reviews of, come on, who else do you know reviews crumble cookies and crumble cookie cereal on the same channel? This is the only one out there. Go ahead, smash that subscribe button and join the Fast Foodie Nation. Now, before I get into it and do the taste test, the opening, let you guys know if it's worth your time, money, or your calories, I have to give a big shout out and thank you to my incredible dad. My dad actually picked this up for me. Thank you, dad. Can you guys tell where he bought it? Two bags inside, huge box, Costco. I think this is the only place or that is the only place where you can pick this cereal up. If you've seen this in any other grocery store, then let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, Costco was the only place that I knew of. And since my dad was headed out there, well, actually he was headed out to get his haircut and the haircut place was right next to Costco. So he picked it up for me. Thank you, dad. And your haircut looks very nice. Now, there really isn't much of a description. It's just chocolatey chip cookie cereal. I'm really hoping this is not just Chips Ahoy repackaged. And I have heard you know, I've done a little research, I've looked on the Instagrams and some of the other uh, review channels out there, and the uh, the reviews haven't been the best, let's just leave it at that. But I'm gonna take a lesson from my grandmother and go into this review with an open mind and an open heart. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a good one. All right, let's try it out. We'll try it dry first. Here's one bag. Won't be needing that. The other bag. Doesn't smell too bad. I don't wanna to say too much just yet, but let's just say as of now, chocolate chip crumble cookies are much better than chocolate chip crumble cookie cereal. But we all know that you can't have cookies without milk. So let's go ahead and hit this with some milk or hit this with some milk and uh, see if that changes anything. Now, because this cereal isn't the most nutrient-ish, nutri nutrient dense, we gotta shake it up, shake the carton up to get all the nutrients from the bottom to the top. Yeah, there's just a super strong artificial flavor. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's like an artificial caramel flavor almost. I'm a little surprised about. You know, Crumble, they can do cookies and Kellogg can do cereal, but I guess if you put them two together, then they can't do cookie cereal. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't had Chips Ahoy in quite some time, but I don't remember it um, tasting like this. <sighs> I'm not gonna give this rating um, just because 
you know, I have my bias. I like crumble cookie too much. And um, yeah, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, if you're looking for a chocolatey chip cereal, stick with Chips Ahoy. If you're looking for chocolate chip cookie, crumble cookie, it's where it's at. But the two combined, they're just not doing it for me. Um, yeah, not the biggest fan. Hope you guys enjoyed this review more than I enjoyed the uh, cereal. If you guys see maybe like a single single bag serving box or something, then I may want to pick it up, try it out. But I wouldn't uh, pick up the, the double bag. It's just, yeah. Oh, well. See you guys in the next one. made it to the end of this video then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well so all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and to see exclusive behind the scenes footage then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the fast foodies at fast foodies review hey Ryan hey Parker guess what day it is Tuesday you're the man fast foodie nation it is Tuesday. Ryan, do you want to tell the Fast Foodie Nation what Tuesdays mean? Crumble time! It's time for a crumble! Welcome back everyone to yet another very exciting and very special crumble. But it's not a crumble cookie review, is it? A crumble cake review. A crumble cake review. Crumble is back at it again, coming out with weird and, or not really weird, but just different, different. desserts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've been coming out with cinnamon rolls, Cakes, what else? Uh, the muffin, or no, they haven't come out with the muffin yet. I'm still waiting on that. Yeah, it but, will <laughs> be soon. <laughs> yeah. They've come out with frozen cookie dough, which uh, a review of that will be dropping relatively soon. So to make sure they don't miss out on that, what should they do? Like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and do all that. But today we are not reviewing frozen cookie dough or heck, even cookies for that matter. As you guys heard Ryan say, we are going to be reviewing a crumble Cake. Now, this is actually the second cake that I reviewed on the Fast Foodies. Hmm. I reviewed the Tres Leches cake, which okay. means three milks, um, I think a few weeks ago. But Ryan, do you want to tell the Fast Foodies what <clears throat> cake we are reviewing today? The Toffee Cake. Dun, dun, dun. And this <laughs> thing is massive. Yeah. I mean, it is... Uh, bigger than yeah. our hands. Yeah almost bigger than my face. Just look <laughs> at that. Now, Ryan, why don't you go ahead and tell the Fast Foodies what is inside of this humongous toffee cake? Yeah, so there is a chocolate cake, or it's a chocolate cake soaked in melty caramel sauce and topped with whipped cream pieces and chopped toffee pieces. That is quite the mouthful uh, for sure. Yeah, a lot, a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot. <laughs> Uh, we will not be able to do the classic crumble break, break. obviously, so we have our uh, tasting forks. But before we get into it, Ryan, since you are the special guest today, I am uh, crowning you with the uh, crumble baking hat. <laughs> Go ahead and put that it's on. It's an honor. Yeah. Um, but I was actually going to ask you, speaking of, you know, breaking cookies and whatnot, you know how crumble, how they have that little pink cookie cutter? Yeah. Do you think they'll come out with like a cake cutter? Like a like, square? Yeah, like a square. Huh, maybe. Crumble, if you're Crumble, watching yeah. this, yeah. If you, if you need testers, you know, we can uh, <laughs> we can help you out there. <laughs> if you need testers with cake cutters, uh, send it our way and we'll let you know um, if it's good or not. But enough of that. We got our forks. Ryan, you got the, the nice blue fork. All right, go ahead. I don't even know how to like dig in here. Like I'll a corner? Like a, yeah, I'll take a corner. There you go. Oh, wow. It's a... Uh... I'm not sure if there's chocolate baked. It's like oh, half yeah. cake, it's half. Good. It's like half cake, half with cream. Honestly. Yeah. All right. Look at that. There's a lot. Yeah. I'm eager. Let's go. Cheers. Was well, it soaked in again? Caramel sauce. Yeah. And toffee pieces. Yeah. It's good, but like it's a really good chocolate cake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I'm not getting much caramel. Mm -mm. Me either. I think it's because <laughs> the, the cream. Yeah, the, the whipped cream is so over. It is so thick. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. thing is. Yeah. Let me try just a piece of the cake. You do get more of the caramel flavor. In the cake. 
Yeah. With just the cake. That that whipped cream just it's like you. It's almost like butter. It's yeah. so thick and dense. Like, it has the, the thickness almost like butter. It tastes delicious. It's yeah. like a sweet cream. But it is, yeah. If they <laughs> wanted to make an actual, like, toffee cake, then they definitely needed to back off <laughs> the cream a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe add a little bit of saltiness too to the caramel just to make yeah, it come yeah, out. Stand out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because you get so much sweetness from the chocolate and the, the whipped cream on top. Yeah. I don't like it's like it looks like it should be pretty caramelly, yeah, yeah. but it's really not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely a big fan of the cake base though. Or what they could have done is mix the toffee pieces into the cake itself. Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah, to give it a little bit of crunch. Yeah, I yeah. think so. And more help bring out that toffee flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they easily could have done half the frosting. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. like, you literally, the, the frosting to cake ratio is like 50 50. Yeah. yeah, it is thick. Yeah, but still, it's a delicious chocolate cake. Yeah, mm -hmm. very sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I got my. I got mine too. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Eight. Eight. Yeah. I think actually if they called this a chocolate cake, I'd probably give it like a little bit higher, like an 8.5 yeah. or 9. But because- It was lacking of, in yeah. the toffee department. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, so. Uh, definitely a rich and tasty dessert. Definitely, uh, yeah, worth your time. Check it out. And uh, yeah, let us know what you guys thought of it if you tried it out. But, yeah, mm. see you guys in the next one. Yeah, next one will be a good one. Bye. wonder if it'll be another cake or a cookie or- or a muffin. Or a muffin. Or a muffin. <laughs> or a muffin. <laughs> if you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the Fast Foodies at Fast Foodies Review. Well this one this one's gonna be a little bit different. I got some bad news, Fast Foodie Nation. I, I don't know how to break it to you, but you guys know, all of you that have been subscribed, you have known that for the past, I don't know, year or so, every Tuesday, I have posted a crumble cookie review. And today, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing a crumble cookie review. I know, I know. I know, it's a, it's a sad... Just kidding, Fast Foodies! It's a Tuesday, come on! I got my crumble cookie shirt on. I got my crumble hat ready to go. Who do you think I am? Come on, come on, this is a Fast Foodies. It's a Tuesday, it's time for crumble! But actually, I wasn't completely messing with you guys because, you see, I'm not doing a crumble cookie review. No, 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 Fast Foodies, today... I'm doing a crumble cake review, and today I'm not reviewing any old crumble cake. No, no, no. This is the brand new, never before seen, Tres Leches. Oh, cake. wow. Now, I don't know what it is with crumble. I'm not sure if they're going through a little bit of an identity crisis right now. I gotta fix my hat. <laughs> As I was saying, if they're going through a little bit of an identity crisis right now, because you know, like what was it, two, three weeks ago, they thought they would start doing cinnamon rolls, but then that was only there for one week. And now we got a cake on the menu. <laughs> what's what's next? Are we gonna be seeing cupcakes? I don't know, fast foodies, but what I do know is whatever that they come out with, I will be reviewing right here on the Fast Foodies YouTube channel. So make sure that you don't miss out. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But now back to the star of the show. This this Tres Leches cake. This is a soft, warm, well, I think it was warm. It's not warm anymore. <laughs> it's a soft, soft cake, drenched or drizzled or soaked. Um, I forget what adjective they use to describe it, but there is some Tres Leches sauce, then obviously some whipped cream and, and a little sprinkling of cinnamon. Now I do believe that Crumble used to have a Tres Leches cookie and I'm pretty sure I reviewed it. If I did, and if I can find that review, I'll play it after this review because 
But right now, I want to eat this Tres Leches cake. Now, normally, I, uh... I kind of split it, split the cookie in half, but I don't think that's gonna work. So I gotta grab my tasting fork and tasting knife. I do wish, just if I, I will say this looks, this looks exquisite. This looks incredibly delicious. But the one thing that's missing, I think if they topped this with some sliced strawberries, I think that would have been the icing on the cake. Can never go wrong with some uh, some nice red strawberries. Oh, this is, oh, look at all that sauciness going on. Now I didn't have the best experience with the crumble cinnamon roll. So let's see if this, uh, this cake goes a little bit better than that cinnamon roll went. Crumble. <laughs> I gotta give it to you. Uh, I wasn't expecting that much after, as I mentioned, having that cinnamon roll. I thought, you guys know, you stick to your stick to your cookies, you know, stay in your lane. But man, you guys, you guys redeemed yourself with this one. Let me tell you. Think of like a like a delicious. Think of like a a pound cake that's soaked in like a horchata sweet vanilla cinnamon sauce. And then that that uh, whipped cream on top. My oh my, fast foodie nation. We have ourselves a winner. This is this is dangerous. This is incredibly good. Crumble. If you guys come out with any more cakes, I will be at your door before you know it. This <laughs> for uh, for the very first time coming out with a cake. Yeah. You guys did an exceptional job. The one thing that's missing, as I mentioned, are those strawberries. If you had those strawberries, I could see myself giving this a 10 out of 10. But at it, as a, got a little ahead of myself. As is, I'm gonna be giving this 9.5 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's crumble cake review. And we'll catch you back here next week for, oh, next week's my birthday. Stay tuned for that one. That's gonna be a fun one. All right. See you next time.